The snapping twig, the blowing breeze, darkness brings a vague un- Hi everyone, Brad Roberts here from Crash Test Dummies. Welcome to Hookist, where we're still writing our, uh, Twas the N- ver- our version of Twas the Night Before Christmas, as it were. Uh, this one's about Santa Claus. Um, we're at a crucial place in the lyric where really everything kind of has to happen now. Um, and a couple of you uh, rose to the occasion, I thought, and submitted good stuff. I don't know whether or not either of these ideas are working well enough yet to use them, so I'm just going to put it out there. I chose one from Marcel and one from Pamby. Um, now, Pamby's entry was three couplets long, and Marcel, um, you, you had to read it sort of backwards because he's entering... A, the it first verse at a time and developing his ideas. So I've spun it out backwards for you and you'll get to hear how it sounds, which is in fact forwards, <laughs> ironically, or whatever that is. It's not ironic, it's paradoxical. Okay, so Marcel, thank you for this one. Uh, it goes like this. You're a mess, Bunny said bluntly, right in Santa's face, forcing the vessel through flexed hyperspace. How I feel your misery. I've been there too. We'll visit with the one, and the one will help you. So, kind of a quasi-religious concept, sort of Hindu. Uh, Going back to the one. And they entered a sphere filled with both fear and joy. I think you mean joy, you said as joy. Singing birds, lush trees, high mountains of strange alloy. (laughs) A kind of forced rhymed, but I thought it was clever forced rhyme, but I thought it was clever. Uh, And a warm voice sounded, heard, but not spoken. Finally, you are here. You recognized my token. Possibly a bit awkward, but, I mean, good effort, and we continue. Each Easter, each year Easter Bunny will bring you uh, as a lad. You will keep your voice, but your name will be Brad. Now, this is where it starts to break down for me here. He's explaining... The bunny's saying, listen, each year I'm going to show you your younger Santa self, and this will, you know, help you. Um, But your voice will change into Brad. And then he goes on to say, so remember, when getting hooked in a rhyming game, i.e. hookist, competing with others, trying to accomplish the same, submitting some verses hoping for praise and applause, your judge is Brad Roberts, also known as Santa Claus. So that's a big concept from Marcel. Um... As I say, I, I don't know if it's working exactly or not. I see what you're aiming for, and I think it's got lots of potential. Um, Pamby also had a few uh, a shorter entry, but nevertheless it was good. Pamby says, the drone halted, making Santa feel a whole lot better. Welcome, my friend, to the, to the land of the lost thank you letter. Oh my God, Bunny, I'm, I sure remember these. This is Santa reacting now. From back in the day, when kids also said please. Bunny, you sure hit the nail right on the head. This is the reason for my anger and dread. So he's... he's, uh, uh, Here we've got uh, Santa coming to terms with something in his childhood that uh, he says, really, the bunny's nailed the... the, the, hit the nail on the head. And... um, What seems to be the problem, though, is that uh, it's a land of the lost thank you letter. Presumably, this is kind of a metaphorical land where people don't say thank you, and they're rude. And then it's also the place where kids, um, back in the day, when the kids used to say please, as as if to say, well, you know, people aren't polite anymore. So it's got this kind of same sentiment of, um, you know, the, the good old days. And um, I just don't see why, what have I written here? I put, um, so, you've, how is it that these children make young Santa so upset as to harbor a childhood trauma that goes on into adulthood? That's my question. I'm not sure if it makes sense. So, again, I think that this is, you're working with something good, but it needs to be worked on. As for the rest of you, um, try and do something a little bit more juicy. Try and send in, as Pamby and Marcel have done, um, 
something with several couplets and really move your story along because this, this is where Santa gets his big insight, his epiphany, and then he can resume to uh, uh, being Santa Claus and doing what Santa does every year. Okay, so we're ready to wrap it up, and um, I think uh, things are coming along nicely, and let's do that. All right. A snapping twig, the blowing breeze, darkness brings a vague unease. Smell of rain, a flash of light, the scene is lit, turns back to night. Like dialogue in a forgotten dream.